a lovely morning to you. A lovely afternoon to you, rather. You're welcome to your favorite uh, news program, um, a current affairs program, rather, 60 Minutes Nigeria. Uh, my name is Egos Agmulao. It's always uh, nice to be back after my vacation. I hope you've been enjoying uh, Winston Marshall. I've been handling the program uh, when I was on vacation. So it's a delight to have you back. Good afternoon. Welcome to 60 Minutes Nigeria, a uh, current affairs program. On today's program, we'll be looking at a recent scenario uh, that has occurred in the political space of Nigeria ahead of the 2019 election, and that is the uh, purchase of uh, expression of interest and nomination forms by the different political parties. And uh, in what amazed some people is that uh, some groups bought forms for political aspirants. And that's uh, a new dimension uh, to politicking ahead of 2019. Uh, 45 million naira uh, is that of APC for whoever is interested in contesting for the office of the president. And uh, President Mohamed Buhari was a lucky president. When uh, Nigeria's uh, Consolidation Ambassadors Network, a group, bought the form and presented it to President Buhari. And he has filled the form he has also submitted yesterday. Uh, in Kaduna State, a group also bought the expression of interest and nomination form. For the governor of that state, and that is talking about Governor Nasi Erufai. So, interesting scenario, you will agree with me. Well, to join me dissect this topic today, I have with me very renowned politicians. Um, we have Honorable Dr. Bajumo Omoro Giva with us in the studio. Nice to have you, a former uh, local government chairman, already uh, local government. We also have with us. Thank you. Yes. We also have with us um, a formal governorship candidate, and of course, a very seasoned politician as well, Bishop Akalami. Nice to have you on this. Good show. afternoon, international. Good afternoon, viewers. Okay. So, but before we dissect the topic that we really have, let's listen, let's watch a footage of President Buhari again when uh, he was presented the expression of interest and nomination form to contest, to seek re-election as president in 2019. Today, to receive this nomination form, which your members from all over the country contributed to buy. It is a gesture from an association of patriotic Nigerians, which I was made to believe comprises of over three million members that believe in our principles of bringing change, positive change to Nigeria. I thank you very much. So that's uh, the group presenting the expression of interest and nomination form to President Mount Buhari, encouraging him by so doing to seek re-election as president. So we are now looking at the implication of uh, buying nomination uh, forms, uh, expression of interest forms and nomination forms to political aspirants. We'll start with uh, Dr. Honorable Dr. Bajumo Omoegeva. Yes, what's your, what's your take on this? Um, <clears throat> my take on it is that the fact that the money that they are asking for this expression of interest and nomination forms in most political parties are too much. See, the kind of money they're asking to take a form to become a servant of the people knocks out those that will actually have the interest of the people at heart to run for the office of the president or other offices. Um, in the first place, how many individuals in this country, I know a lot of them could, mm. You know, a lot of them have that money, but to so most people, even their life savings is not even that much. How many people use their life savings to take a form to become a servant? 
You know, when you say servant, most people will say, ah, to for you to become the president of Nigeria, you are the number one servant of the country because you are serving the whole country. For those that have servants at home or helpers at home, imagine telling your, the family of people that is going to be your helper or babysitter that they should bring common 20,000 to take it from. I guess you'll wait a lifetime to get somebody to babysit your child. Talk less of saying uh, to become the president of Nigeria, everybody should, whoever is interested. In some parties, in, uh, I don't mention them, mm -hmm. uh, some parties they are saying 45 million. Other parties are saying, come on, 22 million. How many people could dream or think of being around 22 million? To come serve, to serve. There is no even the money that you're going to use to campaign for the election. You see, the right people who actually have the interests of the people, public at heart, are being sidetracked. And if you pay that kind of, anybody that pay that kind of money to take a form, and they pay to go through um, um, campaign, after they become nominated, what do you think they're going to do? They have to, rega they have to re regain their money back. That is why this country will never really be settled. The leaders of the country have to look at, regardless of what party you, you belong. When I call Livy, people will be calling me, you are talking about a party. I'm not talking about nobody's party. The truth has to be said. Okay. Let's put our country first before political parties. That is, what, that is the problem we have in this country. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Bishop Akalame, uh, <coughs> you, you saw the footage. Um, you saw the president being given uh, nomination forms. And uh, does it mean the president? <laughs> okay, now the president <laughs> does not have the money of the country. <laughs> yes, mm. needed to wait for a group to buy the phone for him. For you. Yes. So, so, what was your take on this? Thank you so much. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I, I have a different view concerning what is happening in the country. Okay. Uh, maybe because I'm a politician, I start the game. Yes. Uh, so that is why I will come in this perspective. Now, this is a new method now. This has come, this is a new way that everybody is now adopting, using, to tell the people that, come, I am not the one telling myself to contest this election. People are forcing me to go ahead. You can equally see that they're using their money to motivate me to go ahead because they feel I have what it takes to lead. That is just the message. So if you look at what is happening in the state, the cause of the hunger guys is everywhere. There's no money. Even those who are working, they can't even see money to do whatever they want to do. Let alone put it for the five million together to go and buy a nomination and a special form for Mr. President. So what I have seen is very, is very clear that for the fact that they have come up with a bogus fee of getting the form, which has discouraged already the youth, the future leaders of this country to partake in the electoral process to participate in the election, you know, to contest the election. Now, they don't want public opinion to come in to say, oh, they've done that because of themselves. They don't want anybody to contest the election with them for them because they have the money to do that. So they have to come in this form, organizing people, giving them the money, whether we like it or not, to buy the form, bring it for us. So even CRTS. Thank you, you are by far for me. You show that you believe in me, that I should be a good leader. So that people like us who are home say, oh, that means this man should be a good leader. If people can contribute this kind of money to buy him nomination form, a special form, that he should be a leader. So that is their own mathematics. But we don't know that people like us who are intelligent, we know what is going on. You see, it's a time has come where we don't have to be fooling ourselves. We understand the system. What we need now, it's not all these political uh, adakadabra they are doing. What we need now, we need good leaders. Good leaders. It's a pity that the generation who have what it takes to live very well, to bring out what we need to move forward in this country, they don't have the kind of money that this crop of leaders have. So that would be the, 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 the only weapon they are using to work against this generation to participate in the election. So on the other way around, if it is true, I have just given you the perception as a politician, or if it is true that some people have gone to contribute money to buy a special nomination form 
for me, so I pressed the tab. Other people were, see, I think uh, uh, some time ago, about last week, I got another one from Data State. We had all the sacked uh, workers in the uh, data line. We brought everybody together, bought a nomination form for another person under the platform of APC. You see what I'm saying? Different parties are involved. They are just involved. Showing that since this man has sacked us, let us put together. It could be that somebody is taking advantage of these people who, who lost their job. Because somebody who lost their job, I don't know where they will get money from to put money together to buy a major fund that worth millions for a governorship uh, aspirant. So, politicians can take advantage of any situation. Now, he sacked you. Please, let's go together. Please, take this one shit. Now, 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 just go and do as if you bought the phone for me. It's just happening. We know this is. Okay. But if it is true. But well, these are allegations that no, are not really uh, no, I'm telling you, I said, I'm giving you the perception okay. of a politician, the way I understand the game. They let not come to the lame man, those people who do not understand what is happening. Okay. So, if it is true that these are people are looking at you, that actually this part will be the body for this people to motivate them, that means we are in trouble. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. Because if you buy a nomination file for me to contest the election, if I'm not performing, you will not see anything wrong in me. What you'll be looking after is how to get your pocket money. Whether it fees the road doesn't matter. Whether the schools are working, it doesn't matter. Whether the health sector is working, it doesn't matter. As long as you bought the file for me, if you can get dividend on your you can get dividend for you, the money you put in your investment, then there's no need of me disturbing uh, whether the governor or the president or the senator is doing anything or not. That is where we are seeing where we are today. We have a lot of sacrifice because of this kind of uh, 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 moves. Putting money together to buy a fund for a leader to participate in an election. People see it as investment. Oh, let's go together, bring this money, let's put it here so that when we win, we begin to get our own return on the investment. Whether the roles are fixed or not, it doesn't matter. So when you are discussing it that the leader has failed, you say it has done well because their pocket is fine. Thank you, Bishop Akalami. Uh, Mr. Isaac Rabo, nice to have you on the show. My pleasure. In 2015, before the presidential election, uh, both the ruling party, the PDP, and the opposition party that time, the APC, uh, charged less than 25 million naira for the purchase of uh, presidential nomination forms. But this time around, ahead of the 2019, 2019 elections, uh, 45 million naira is what you need to pay to collect the nomination form to contest for the office of president under the APC, while the PDP reduced its cost to just 10 million naira. Um, this is a scenario, a very exciting one. Uh, but uh, Mr. President needed to wait for a group to pay for nomination forms for him. That's what we are looking at. Um, groups now buying nomination forms for political aspirants is uh, a new scenario. We'll just get the thought of uh, Isaac Kiraboy, because he's always been there. He's seen it all in politics. Yes, what's your take on this? Uh, thank you very much. <coughs> it, uh I, I, I don't uh, know the thinking, the kind of consultant that the government, with all its resources, uh, limitless resources, uh, contacted to, to tell them or advise them that the president of this great country must be begged man an aspirant, even though in office, should be begged to um, buy a form to execute an office where he'll be sitting over and above all of us and a mirror at the UN and all over the world. What we need and what we want and what we want to do well Nobody begs us. We go all out. You know, I remember when I was growing up, my father told me, so he made me no man, no man, I ain't no man, yo. What will be good for you? Nobody begs you. You go, you beg to join. There was a union those days. I won't, uh, you don't beg to go in there. You know, people, people don't beg you to go in there. So I, I see something wrong with that. Uh, my very dear, uh, dear party, 
uh, the APC, uh, begging our great president, a man of uh, indubitable character, to, uh, he has all the resources at his disposal. He was not a, a poor man before he became president. And if he needed money, for well, when you need money, so you can go to the bank and borrow because you're going to invest it to make profit. You know, even though we all say no, 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 no. Well, some will say I donate my salary to, to uh, I don't know if you did that when you were no, <laughs> a chairman or a group. You know, they all say that, uh, but that. In, the, in the main, okay, they get too many allowances that they don't even need a salary or a stipend. So I think for the, those managing the president, uh, th there's something wrong there. There was something else you, that preceded that one. Mm. Uh, w there was another question you asked. Okay. Um, the governor of Cardinal State uh, also needed to wait for a group to also buy yeah. form for him. It's wrong. Mm. It's very wrong. And uh, we should start to do things differently. And uh, INEC, uh, no, sorry, not INEC now, our party, great party. Yeah, the political party. Parties, in yeah. power okay. going out, out to ask for 45 million naira to, well, the, maybe the party needs money so badly. Then there's something wrong with the management, not of the presidency now, of the party. Because parties get checkoffs from members. That's how they did it. Awolo Ali have been through all these periods, you know. A party, sometimes it's rich, you know. Because members, and, and these days I don't even know. I'm not here really talking party A, party B, yeah. but I'm talking as a consultant. I'm old now. And I have got to start to, to teach some of our people what to do. You see, you can get immediate gains, but way ahead, you begin to lose membership because there's no truth. And when you beg people to do something, they don't perform well. People, they just bring them from the top. That's what we are suffering now in APC in Edo State. Every common people, if this state is ruled the same way, I have a copy of the manifesto of this last election. I wrote it for the party. The first is provide employment for people. People don't have jobs. And yet the party stood that there must be jobs for people. Big farms to be created, they created, they are not operative. See, but I'm, that's not the area I'm talking about. Mm. The area I'm really talking about is that let us be true. Let us lead this nation. We're talking about, somebody mentioned here, children and grandchildren. Yes. We have children. What do I tell my child? Hopelessness? You know? What do I tell my grandchild? There's no provision. People don't have food. Most people today cannot eat two, three times a day. You know? You have people all over the place. And yet we have a responsible government. An irresponsible government. The first thing you think about, the people that you lead. We are there to serve. You don't know here. The God kind of people who come today, they, they are they come to, to be our masters. We are not your servants. We you are our servant yeah. because you asked for our votes. And we trusted you. And we gave you a mandate. And when you now come, you are the master. You are the only one. You have this, you have that. Nobody knows as good as you, and we talk about better. You see. So uh, we must uh, the, the, the rudder for our boat or our ship has to be redirected. You know, that we should serve the people. Don't scare young people from running the affairs of the local government, the state, uh, and the nation. Because the new brings, you see, words are maybe a little bit analog. The younger people, everything is digital. Look at the president of France. Look at when uh, Obama came in. Look at when Clinton came in. All over the world. Yeah. We are moving forward. So don't use this money, 45 million. Why do you need a man to pay 45 million? Where will he get the 45 million? Why will a young professor get 45 million? Why will a, a young uh, a scientist get 45 million? These are the people who will run countries today because the countries are moving. But you see, our country is not moving. But our people are moving. When they get out of this country, Nigerians are some of the best brains in the world. So let our political leaders begin to think along such lines. That make things easy and soft. 
In America, within 10 minutes, you register a company. I registered my company, Kunta Kinti, in New York about two years ago, less than 10 minutes. They're gone. Go, you get jobs and, and, and do your jobs. Not to make things difficult. There are a lot of people, they went to college, they went to university, they are out on the streets 10 years later. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rabo. You have really uh, elaborated on this issue. Uh, well, let me quickly correct uh, the information. Uh, the PDP uh, expression of interest and nomination form to contest for the post of president is 12 million naira, while that of the APC is 45 million naira. And uh, Mr. President uh, got the backing of a group known as Nigeria Consolidation Ambassadors Network, who purchased the form and handed it, for, handed it over to him. He has filled, and yesterday he submitted his form. That confirms that the president will be contesting for the, uh, will be seeking re-election rather in 2019. Well, let's come back to Agbajumo uh, Omoro Giva. Now, you've actually hinted on your take on this, but some youths thought that the, the bill that was recently signed would have encouraged youths to participate in, uh, to seek elective positions. But they are believing now that with this kind of uh, monies by the ruling party, the APC, it will be difficult for a young man to aspire to be president of the country. Of course. <clears throat> you know, um, today, you know our youth, most of them don't have money. You know, people go to school, did everything their parents asked them to do. Become a good citizen, don't go to jail, go to school. Um, we don't have money, but do what you have to do, stay in school, study, graduate, serve your country. After doing all this, years later, you don't have no, uh, you don't have no job. But the truth is that these old leaders, they want to keep re, uh, uh, re themselves, recycling themselves. And they're putting laws that is making it impossible for most youth or any youth to come. How many youth will be able to come out for five million? And even got, even, of course, there are a few youths in the country that come out, come out for five million. Even if they do, how do, they, how do people expect them to run for the campaign. No campaign is free. Campaign is not cheap. And even if they win and they borrow money from the bank to win, by the time instead of coming to focus on how to direct the country, you see they have to find out way to collect the money that they invested or for their grandfather or father's house that they sold, they have to replace it. People in, in invested, they have to pay them back. They said if you use a uh, and not to be uh, as a bit, you know the kind of animal you are expecting. For the five million in this country, in Nigeria, where people cannot even eat in this cream, you know, come to think of it, the, the, those leaders, I'm not talking about the younger leaders, the, those old political leaders that refuse to live, that are 90 something, and they are calling themselves 70 something, and 60 something, need to be ashamed of themselves. They are making it impossible for the country to move forward. How old was Obama when he retired? How old was Clinton when he retired? How about this uh, new president in France? How old is he when he, when he came to office? Why can't we have youth, young leaders in this country? Huh? Because of the kind of greediness, greed, yes. greed that our leaders are showing. This man has ruled, ruled the country, has ruled the country before as a military leader. Okay, I've done another 10. Let the, that should have been a bonus. He will not come back again. By the time you know he's sending his son to come back, no, but the president has a, yeah, is a free citizen. He can, can free contest as is long as he feels he's strong enough to do it. I think he's free. But, you know, listen, you have in other countries where you know that your, your administration is not serving the purpose why you are elected. In some countries, the leaders will... The will president, President Buhari, believes his administration has served Nigerians well. <laughs> I think he's the only one. Among, <laughs> among Nigerians that I believe that I know people from his own party, I don't mention it, even leaders from his party that think he did not serve well. I'm not here to start ruining anybody's political mm -hmm. career, but that's the truth. You know, what has he really done for the country? Okay. Let's start well, counting. Yeah, but we're not talking specifically okay. now about Buhari. Okay. We're looking at the implication of groups buying funds for political That is what I just said. When you yes. use an antelope to set a trap, if you believe that a group actually bought that uh, 
If you believe that those groups actually put the money together to buy him that uh, nomination form, then you know you believe anything. You believe anything. This common and Nigerians are smart. Is these are not the days when you use a leaf to cover our face and tell us single lawyer behind you? Buhari came up with that money and gave it to the group. I stand we tall. Uh, uh, not you, me. I stand tall to say that. Mm -hmm. I know that. Most people know that. Of course, a lot of people because of their polit political position are not going to accept that. You are the, uh, uh, the marketer yourself. You, are, you can't say that. But you know, if we are not here on TV, we are. You would have, you know, I don't know. You know, most people will agree that I came up with that money. How many groups in Nigeria have for five minutes to give to one person to run? Please, I want to know this kind of group because I'm a politician. Don't you want to know this kind of group? Hmm. Uh, we told you that, sir. Don't you want to know that kind of group that will give you for five minutes to run? <laughs> huh? If we have for five minutes, do you know what you could do for the poor federal states? For five minutes, give to the youths. My good friend here is uh, now working with uh, NYC. Give me for five minutes. Go. <laughs> I'm not working with NYC. Okay, okay, okay. But what does it? What does That kind of money. <laughs> give it to the youth. Yeah. You know to improve the education, the, yeah. to improve the life of the people of this of this state okay. or the country. You know, come on, let's be, let's call it for this Okay, thank you, uh, Honorable <laughs> Doctor Baju Mohamed Giva. Well, uh, Bishop Akalame, yes, yeah, on this program, you are one of our discussants, and of course, you belong to a group that is young. Now, from what the fillers we're getting, is that some persons believe that the youths may not be comfortable with the amount charged by some of these political parties. APC for the five million for president, about twenty million for governorship, uh, PDP president twelve million, and uh, some other parties have different different amounts, you know. So, but groups now buying and say we buy for this person. Um, do you think maybe the youths have not uh, canvassed enough to get those kind of groups to buy for them to cut the youth feel that they cannot pay this kind of money? My dear brother. I, once again, I want to appreciate you for this topic. Thank you. You see, I feel so sad with what is happening today. On August 12th, I did a book presentation that had to do with curbing youth illegal migration. And this is one of the reasons why the youth are leaving the country in numbers. They don't, they, they, they don't give them the opportunity to participate in the electoral process. So people are there, they hold so, they, they hold so sweet to, the, to, 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 to power and they don't want to go. The implication of this is that when you decide to deny the future leaders of tomorrow the opportunity to become leaders, it shows that there is no future for the country. Do you know why I say so? Last time on this program, I told you, I said, give this your phone to your son or any of your daughter to operate. You'll be so surprised the function your son or your daughter will bring out for your phone that you have never ever seen before that you cannot manage. That will tell you that this generation, their brain is being configured in a way that these people who call themselves leaders who are analog can only do much for us. The reason why group will not come out to contribute money and give to youth that they save to contest election is very obvious. Why? There is hunger in the land. This hunger is being created by these so-called crops of politicians. Hunger. You have graduates who are almost 20 years or 10 years of graduation, no job. No job. So give him an opportunity where he can get 2,000 euros. He will job at it. So, but it's not that if you can come together, be motivated, it's not, they don't have the money to back, just said, like, like I said before in the program, they don't have the money to put together to give to these people who are seeing 45 million. They will bring out the money, give it to a group. Before they will give it to the group, they will still give them money to share. These are allegations that you cannot substantiate. I, 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 I am happy that anytime you talk, you say that any word we use here are the words of the guest, not okay. of the ITV. These are the words of Bishop Akalame. You get what right now? So, the hunger in the land will not enable some Nigeria to pull 45 million together, give it to Aspira to contest an election. It is an aberration. So, what I'm not saying is that 
if we continue this from the way we are going, it shows that we don't have future. Because the future leaders of the country, they disappear. They don't give you the opportunity to cut a generation. So even when they decide to go to any other political platform, where they will not pay much to contest the election. Nobody will hear them. Even when they have much to put on the table, nobody will listen to them. Because the system, the system has been bastardized. The so-called politicians, they have, they have been able to bring up, they, they don't make it, they, they, they don't monetize Nigeria elections. It's all about money. That when, when people don't understand that before you can run election in Nigeria, you need money to run the election. They even make it compulsory that as an electorate, like before you can vote for anybody, you won't be given money. So the political socialization now is negative. That as the election has come, and people are going to thank God, this is the time for us to make money. They will not begin to talk about making money. Then we are putting the interest of the country behind us. Then for the election will not come again 2019. Before you know, in the next four years, we are suffering again. Then the youth who now feel that they're not being given the opportunity to participate in the election and they are not job, they can't participate in what is going on in the country, they will be thinking of how to lead the country to other world, countries of the world where their future will be guaranteed. Thank you. We have you. issues. Yeah. Thank you. Have issues. We'll come back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, but let's also uh, give you this information. Um, other parties have different costs for uh, nomination firms. Uh, but these are the two major parties, uh, the ruling APC. Uh, like I said, we understand that uh, for the APC, whatever they are charging uh, for nomination forms, half the price is what they collect from women aspirants, female aspirants, those who are interested. And uh, for the PDP, uh, they are charging six million uh, for governorship uh, positions while they made their form free for women who female candidates. And I think it's a move uh, to uh, probably design to widen representation. Well, uh, Isaac Rabo, now, different parties, they have their choices. They could set, some party could say their form is free. Now, but what do you think should be the right thing? Well, you, you see, it, it, uh, it beats me hollow that my great party, as I always am very proud to be, uh, is the Talakawa's party, the common man's party. You know, that uh, if you look at the old, I all over the world, and Abino Kano, and came on the line, Ali, and the rest of it. Yeah, that's, this is not the bourgeois party that some people have made it to be now. It's a common man's party. A party to encourage young people, create basic education, more sophisticated education, Give us water, give us light, give us good health, you know. So when we, instead of doing that, we now start charging 45 million for uh, uh, what is the expression of interest. And isn't that what they call it? Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's wrong. And that's why, you see, there's a problem in this country. In other countries, in every party, you have the conservative area, you have, you have the liberal, you have the middle uh, on the road. And they all have platforms. At the end of the argument, you know, something that people can afford. You must show we as a party, the greatest party right now, that nominated Amid uh, Buhari. You have also almost said, always said here, oh, don't blame Buhari because he's been ill. You remember on yeah, the yes, program? Yes. You say, hey. So, you know, it's a common man's place. Don't drive us away. Go and bring big money and start driving common people. It, 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 less democracy, you see. So don't use this. Encourage our women. They are mothers. I remember those days when Lucky Gnidio and I contested the election. I, I told, how those women they were asking for me? I said, I don't, I can't, I don't have money to give you. I don't have money to give you. But what I want you to do, work with me. I'm a luminary politically. Work with me so that your children can grow. We we'll grow your children. They become political leaders in due time. It's money, they are monetized the whole thing. I was watching on television the other day. The deputy US um, uh, um, ambassador was talking about, I just come from the US at the time, talking about the Kitty election. He was describing on television that social parties gave so so money, and social parties gave so so money, 
and elections are not monetized. It's a shame. Even though this things could have been done, I, I don't encourage it, taking money. But the people would always take money because they have been so impoverished. You see, any party now, people who want to vote, they say, hey, if these people, they have been, a, a man who has 45 million, with all due regards, to do, uh, to pay for interest. It's not the cost of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 of campaign. Mm. It's not the cost of any other thing. Then, the, the man now will, uh, uh, you now say you want to, they should, the, the common man should give you their vote. They will charge you for it. And they don't hide it. They don't hide it. On the field on that, you see them coming. Hey, pa, uh, <laughs> they never give me my 2,000. Mm. You know that sort of thing. So we must talk about these things. And I remember when I used to do this on NTA, Tony Radio and I in those days, you know, we used to try to encourage people to play less, play less. When you don't put this money down, play less, look at the people they're asking us to go and vote for. All people. Mm -hmm. I saw an advert, I saw an advert on BBC recently. The, the, a, a, a footage of uh, around, uh, what you call it, uh, CMS there with this uh, Keke and, you know, Mr. Isaac Rabo. Let, let, let me quickly let let finish. Let yes. me finish this one quickly. Yes. And we saw all these are young people uh, driving up and down. Then this reporter said, here you are in Lagos with all these young people. Many of them don't have jobs. And yet they are looking for old men to come and represent them mm -hmm. as the president of Nigeria. But the choice. That's not, that's not too fair. Nigeria Let us go for choice. young people. Let us go in every part of this country, whether in the north or south. In 1978, I was a lecturer, political science, uh, at Bayero University. Some of my students, they, they have long been senators, brilliant people. So whether it's in the north or in the south or in the west or in the east, you have young Nigerians, you know, who can go to the moon? There are brains that can go to Thank the moon. Thank you, Mr. And yet, we are, what are we looking for uh, old people for? I don't consider myself too old now. They say looking for men, 74. This one says Buhari. This one says Atiku. This one. Yeah, yeah, you have young people in the APC. If you know the kind of brains in the APC, they will never see the light of day. Yeah, but let me quickly make it clear here that the Constitution of Nigeria allows those who have shown interest to contest for the office of the president to contest. As long as the Constitution allows them, all Nigerians are free to contest for any position of their choice. But let's quickly move on to the next topic, and that has to do with vote buying, which is another negative trend negating the development of the electoral process in this country. We'll quickly just get the thought of a former local government chairman uh, Honorable Dr. Bajumo Omarugeva. Now, this is another trend again. Yes. yes. People, there are the allegations now that people, they sell votes. Political parties, agents of political parties, give out money for the electorate to vote. And that needs to be called. The recent development is that the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, has expressed readiness to partner INEC to tackle the menace of vote buying in the electoral system. This is coming ahead of 2019. How do we cope this, this problem? Uh, it's a shame. OK. It's a shame. Because it's the same system. You know, I'm sorry to take you back, that they are using to um, run the country that is bringing us to this vote buying. You see, ordinarily, as a carabao, you'll be my witness. During election like this, there's money flowing. Even when I was a kid, I used to hear my family say, when, the, uh, when there's an election, there will be money. People, the, the government in power will put our money so that you know, there will be money in the system. In this very election, this presidential election, there's no money in Nigeria. Look at all the money they got from the Paris Club, about that routine, from the one that we saw on television where they are baking uh, in the ground and uh, save uh, with dollars and everything. If they put those money into the system, you understand? People want to sell their conscience. See, what they did, they kept those money so that there will be hunger in the land. Yes. When, there is, when, please let me see, when there is hunger in the land, you know, there, are, there is a family of five, uh, for example, and they have to pay 15000 a month to pay for their rent. 
and their father don't have a job, and these people don't, the landlord is coming to put them out. And the father hear that a political party is going to give 2,000 two or three, uh, four, uh, five, 5,000 for, uh, for their election card. They will sell it. Even though this man is a Christian that don't want to sell, but because of the situation he finds himself and his family, especially if you have children, looking at his children and his wife, he had to choose between his wife going to prostitute or him selling his right. He will sell his right. And they call the children to sell their right so that they could be able to put a roof over their head. They, they, these people in power, they are squeezing everybody to hunger. When people are hungry, everything happens. All these kind of things happen. This election 2019 coming up, with all the money that they claim they got, even the foreign exchange is still very, very high. People can't pay their children's school fees. Family can't buy food. They, you know, so that is why there is this people selling. I'm not saying it's right for people to sell their card. And come to think of it, I went to election. You know, for every election they've done in Nigeria since I came to run, I attend everyone. Even when I'm naked, I come home. Look at what is happening. The police will be there while they are selling. No distress. So I'm, not, I'm not trying to put anybody down. Who runs these people? You are saying that CPC. Who, who is? Who runs who run the? Who are they not under a, a, gov, a presidency? I know if your bosses or people I control, I have in my own business. No, but they want to partner with INEC to ensure that they stop, stop the problem. We want, mm -hmm. that is what we have always wanted. We've always, wanted. We've always okay. wanted this to happen. Mr. Um, but we pray that this happen. Yes. Talking about it and doing it is two different things. Okay. You know, I pray to God, Almighty God, and I know that other Nigerians are saying to me as I talk, they pray to Almighty God to help us so that they do what they say and do what they promise they're going to do. Thank so you. that people will not say their votes Thank you and they'll say they are right. Thank you very much. But we must also make it clear that the federal government has also enlightened Nigerians uh, that what they recovered, how it's been spent. And uh, some of the monies recovered, some through the courts, there's what we call interim for future. It doesn't mean that once a particular amount has been gotten, it becomes that of the government until the case is dispensed with. So we need to understand that. And the federal government has also made it clear that they are doing all uh, it can to make the economy a good one. Uh, they wouldn't deliberately want to make impoverish the people. We must also make that very clear. But let's get the thoughts of uh, Bishop Akalame. Now, vote buying, you are a politician. Vote buying is a negative trend in the system. How do we curb this ahead of 2019? When a student knows that he's not intelligent, he will be looking for money, we will gathering money, so that when the exam has come and gone, he will be looking for a lecturer to bribe, <laughs> so that he will pass the exam. So the same thread is happening to some politicians today. Uh, it's a pity that in Nigeria here, we have some politicians who cannot think out of the box. They don't have what it takes to lead the country. So the only way they feel they can always uh, have access to power is to bring out the money and bribe the people. When we are discussing like this, I normally blame the INEC. INEC the issue. Why do I say so? Uh, when well, you will not stop a man not to collect money. After all, it's our money. What I normally say is that collect the money and don't vote for them. That's why I might tell people. Yeah, but that's because morally wrong. No, let me tell you something. Since they have mastered the art of giving the money, let us collect the money. I do not let us vote for them. No, that let, is morally let me, wrong. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The money is our money. The money belongs to us. Since they have decided that they don't want to work, see what they are doing now. They will not feed the road. They will not work on our education. They will not give us good health care. No. You must have back. My brother, I travel every week. I go, go around. You know that I travel, I travel from, from here to, to Lokoja. My brother, from Auchi to Lokoja, no road. To Okene, no road. When I go to Okene, I have to, if I tell you how I go to FC, the Federal College of Education, before I assess Lokoja, my brother will wait for me. I, I went. The one I was going to enter again, from Lokoja to enter, my brother, no road. For me, that to Okene, no road. Most of the federal in Nigeria, they are in deplorable state. Why is it like that? Because most of our leaders, they don't use the road, they don't use choppers. Yes. They want to come and talk to us, they use choppers. They don't use the road. A time will come, we will not see the road to use again. Because they don't use the road. Those days, they use the road. They will see the deplorable state, they will face it. But now, they don't use it. So my brother, in the case of vote buying, 
I make a put a stop to this. See what is happening. If you want to vote for a leader, take for instance, how many people want to vote for him? He will send his agent to, him. He will to come and start with him. Because it's open ballot system. So when you are voting, they know who you are voting for. So they will look at it, the agent will be looking at you. I put it in party A. So now you cannot come and collect your money. So they don't want to give you your money because they know they can give you and you will not vote for them. So it's because it's open, they will, somebody will be watching you. As soon as you vote, when you come out, they will not give you the money. So if I let you make it secret, when you go into a room, it's only between you, your God, and yourself. You vote out. You must have collected the money. Vote for a leader who can take us to where we are going, the promised land. Collect the money. Keep the money. Vote for the right person. So I think we'll be moving to where we are going. Ireland has a role to play this. They started before. This is what they were doing before. As we are sleeping at night, they'll come and knock your door. Come, come, come. You open. What do you want? Please vote for us. Take money. But now, that one is no longer working. Because they know that that's what is correct way for them at night. They, the money you vote for your, for, your, for your candidate, they will not give you money there at night. They will bring the money to the feet. So as soon as you vote, it's not you snap it, they will be looking at you, then you will not come and collect what? Money. So if Annek can be the needful to make this a secret, they will be scared to bring out the money because they know that they will give you the money because they have not performed, no rules, no good schools, no health care, all guys in the land. They will not figure out the money. They will prefer to use the money to construct roads. They will prefer to use the money to do what is good for us. It's my brother. If the economy is good, even when you sell pure water, you make money. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you very much, my yes. Let's quickly just take the parting words of uh, Mr. Isaac Rabo on this issue of vote by. How do we cover it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you see, I, I think it's that old, is it Chino Achebe? He says yes. this man has learned to shoot without a, uh, a stop. Is it? Mm -hmm. it? This man has learned to shoot without missing. Missing. So I have learned, I've learned to fly without uh, patching. That is only for the dead. Exactly. So you see, that's where we are. You know what I'm saying? They are not smarter than the common man. No. You know what I'm saying? There was it in 1987. I went to quickly, you know, we all learn. I'm telling yes, you, the director is saying we don't have time, so quickly uh, just so, it. Let me quickly yeah. tell you. The, they have made us poor. Those who came on our wings knew nothing about politics. They are now masters and they have made us poor. And our people are waiting. They will come again. Oh, they don't think they think four years is the is the, the kingdom come. They will come again begging. Our uh, people have now learned that we must take money. Don't blame them. We use us to get to wherever you are, and now you say we don't mean anything. You say we are liars, you say we are this, you say we are that. We are no good. You will come again. Please, what you should watch for, for this election. A boy just called me, my computer operator. He said, okay, I, have not, uh, I don't have a PVC. How do I get you uh, this uh, INEC to get a PVC? I said, what? Well, he said, hey, that's my money. <laughs> On election day, that's my money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We've gotten to that level, and they have given us to this point. Thank you, Mr. Isaac Rabo. No, no, no time. Uh, Mr. Dr. Bajumo Omorugeva, thank you very much. Bishop Akalami, thank you very much. Mr. Isaac Rabo, thank you very much. Oh, you. And uh, we are at the, I hope you've enjoyed today's edition of the program. Uh, but let me just quickly say uh, that what my discussions have said is that the needful need to be done. Uh, to avoid vote buying, uh, those in charge of conducting election should do the right thing so that uh, this vote buying can be stopped. And one of the discussions made it clear that if the voter enters a cubicle, then nobody knows between him and his conscience. That's what one of the discussions has posited. One of my other discussions have also said poverty must be eradicated in the country so that people can vote conscientiously. On that note, thanks for being a part of the program. My name is Ego Sagmolao. See you next week. Bye-bye.